do you want? You Gabriel, right? That's right. Hey, that's good, Lutz. That means this must be the place. You got something you want to talk to me about? I'm busy. Well, let's hear what you have to say. You're in the wrong bag, man. You've been goofing like crazy. Now we're going to have to go upside your head, teach you to be a good boy. Will you get out of here? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Go on, clear out of here. Easy, man. You've been telling the cats wrong. You've been messing up their heads with funny ideas. You're going to stop doing that. You're going to let the cats alone so they can get back into their old grooves. You chumps, can't you see that? Can't you see you're giving it all away? Can't you see you're just chumps? You get it! Lieutenant, I want in on this and I want in on it now! You go home and finish your vacation. When you come back, we'll probably have it all cleaned up. And maybe you won't! Lieutenant, I gotta get my hands on this and I gotta get my hands on it now! I know you do, and that's what bothers me. You're out for revenge. You got blood coming out of both your eyes. Now look, I'm telling you, it's no sad. But why? I don't have to tell you why. For a start, it's against policy. You're friends with a murdered man. That's a start. What else? You're out for blood. You're out to get somebody. And that's the worst possible way of doing your job. Okay, so I'm a little worked up right now. So don't worry about it. I'm not going to hurt anybody. I bet you're not going to hurt anybody. Anybody who's as involved as you are with I the I know. It's against policy. Well, you want to know how that grabs me? Okay, I'll tell you what, Lieutenant. I'll do it on my own time. My vacation time. Now, look, let me tell you something. I know he was your friend, I know he was your school teacher, and I'm sorry he was killed. But you're a big boy now! Lieutenant, when I was 15 years old, I stood on a sidewalk out in front of Tiny's Palace uptown. And I watched O.G. Johnson and Sonny Peterson get out of the biggest automobile in the world, with two of the most beautiful women in the world. And right then, I knew what I wanted to be. I was gonna run numbers, I was gonna do it all. I hung around, and I was so sharp that Sonny Peterson himself offered me the marijuana concession at the high school. You? Me, I was it. I wasn't big enough to keep my nose from dripping every time I got cold out, but I thought I was the toughest piece of work that ever happened. But then I ran head on into Mr. Gabriel. I wasn't in his class but one quick week and he had me made for a hot shot. And that old man went to work on me. One day he'd call me a chump, and the next day he'd tell me how it would be for us if we didn't all sell out so cheap. He even suggested I had a right to take pride in my manhood. That's crazy, isn't it? That's what I told him. I fought him with everything I had, but he wouldn't go away. And that's the only reason why right now, today, I'm not a junkie or on the yard or both. Or dead. Or dead. To you by ABC. Well, I'll be seeing you and that girl. I'm Marlo Thomas, and I'd like to invite you to join me every Thursday night. Lemon pledge, very pretty. Put the shine down, lemon good. Lemon pledge as you're dusting brings new luster to the wood. Lemon pledge cleans so easy. Lemon way to make wood glow. Lemon pledge as you're dusting adds protection as you're dusting. 
go. New from Johnson Wax. Look, a shield. That's the glow coat heel mark shield. It shields against Tommy's black heel mark. All of them? Just about. Terrific. Now, a wax hard enough to form a heel mark shield. Hard gloss glow coat. So hard it takes a pounding and keeps on shining. Hey, wait! Uh-uh. I gotta get a shield for my floor. It shields against black heel marks. Hard gloss glow coat. <laughs> Richie, you show Mrs. Marshall the door, please. Goodbye. How'd you make out? I'm on my own, which eats into the rest of your vacation time, right? Right. Jeff, you're not the last cop in the world. I got a personal stake in this, Johnny, that won't quit, so no tranquilizers, okay? Okay, buddy, okay. Now, you got anything I can work on? The lab found more prints in that room than it knows what to do with. The M.E. says there probably wasn't any weapon involved, just a straight beating. Which could mean the perpetrator only wanted to work him over and got carried away. Anybody else in the building? Oh, the janitor, an assistant librarian, and uh, the print shop teacher. Did any of them see or hear anything? Nothing. Just like everybody else around there. I never saw such stalling in my life. We haven't come up with much yet, but we're still digging, like we've been talking a foreign language. Well, maybe they don't want to talk publicly. We set up a special phone number. Here. Here you are. I hope you know something we don't know about how to make contact. It's my old neighborhood, Johnny. I made contact a long time ago. What's happening, Big John? Cora? These your wheels, Cora? Not yet. I have four chemo payments before it belongs to me. After these wheels stand up, four chemo payments. What you been up to, Big John? Same thing as when you dug me last time. Beautiful. How's your mother? You know, kicking along. Where you been hiding, brother? I've been around. Not here. Not in a while, no. To what do we owe the honor of your esteemed presence, baby? Well, maybe I just stopped by to say hello, John. You still in the cops, man? Still am. What do you uh, hear about Mr. Gabriel over at the high school? Nothing, man, nothing. I mean, what's the word? Who did it? Did what, man? Yeah, what does he mean? How are we supposed to know something about that, huh? Oh, come on. You know, that's all. Don't jive me. Hey, man. Wow. Okay. If you hear anything, uh, report it, okay? Who to, man? Huh? Do you know I have some books you ordered right there in the back? Just came in this morning. Just a terrible thing. I didn't know him real well. But what I knew, I admired. I know you did, Mr. Banks. That's why I came to you. I thought perhaps you could help me. You mean, try to find out who did it? I wish I knew. Well, maybe you'll hear something. Hmm? I don't think there's too much of a chance of that. Well, if you hear anything at all, give me a call at this number. Any time, day or night. Sure, I will. Thank you. Come on in, Mr. Warden. Miss Daggett went home for the day, but I can give you her home address. Well, unless she's moved, I think I have it. Edgecombe Avenue? Yeah. That's it. You know something? You almost restore my faith. Now, if you went through this place and went on to college and now you have a good job, well, I'll settle for that record of accomplishment any time. Maybe I was lucky. How well did you know Mr. Paul Gabriel? Uh, well, Mr. Gabriel was a very forceful man. He uh, held very strong opinions. What kind of opinion? Well, for one thing, he opposed my appointment here as principal. Do you know why? It's very simple. I'm white. I mention it only as an answer to your question. I did not know Paul Gabriel. I sure tried to. Every way I knew how. 
but I never knew him. Any more than I know Sturgis, or Miller, or Franks, or your Miss Daggett. Jeff Ward, <laughs> the missing man. Lila Daggett, the fastest kid on the block. Oh, yeah? <laughs> then how come I'm an old maid? Don't talk like that. Make you sound foolish. Oh, let her carry on. If she's an old maid, it's because she wants to be. And she's never done anything she didn't want to do, not for long. That's right, baby. That's right. Lila, what? what do you know about Paul Gabriel's murder? So that's why you're here. What's on the wire? Who did it? Who do you want to know for, Jeff? Yourself or the police? Does it make a difference? It sure does, baby. And you better believe it. You know something? I am up to here with all you super cool types who think you know what game you're playing. I owe Paul Gabriel, and I mean to find out who killed him. Well, good luck to you, too, officer. I, um, uh, hear you went off and got yourself married. What about it? Is she black? You listen to me. I don't give a damn what you think about me or my wife, my black wife, or the police, or anybody else, okay? One day, maybe that'll be important, but not now. Not now! Why? Because you suddenly decided to pop back on the scene when the going suits you? You think you're gonna move mountains just because it's you who's thinking it? There are a sight more people up here who are freaked out over Paul Gabriel's killing than where you come from, baby. And they've been here, and they're not going back anywhere when it's all over. We got the grind and the trouble and the fight seven days a week, Jeff. Don't make me a hot lead in one of your unsolved murders because I'm not about to be one, not me. Lila, a man has been killed. The killer is still at large and I want to get him. So help me, please. No! But why? Because I'm afraid. I'll get your protection. You really are out of touch, aren't you? Okay, so get me back in touch. You can't. You're a cop. Lila, that isn't fair. It is fair, Daddy. It is. Then tell me, who are you going to call when somebody messes with you in the street? You're going to holler for a cop, that's who. And you're going to pray one comes running. Oh, Daddy, what are you talking about? I'm talking about people getting the truth out to each other. You don't want to help Jeff because you're afraid of Gabriel's killers. That's understandable. But just don't go around pretending he's being a cop has something to do with it because that's a lie. And I didn't bring you up to tell lies, did I? No, Daddy, you didn't. Which only tells me she meant every word she said. First of the new rules, don't talk to the cops. And don't you go pushing this girl, Jeffrey. She's right when she says she has to go on living right here on this block with the rest of the people. And I don't want to hurt. You understand me? Lila. Go away, Jeff. You don't belong here, not anymore. You're wrong. I belong here just as much as you do. Nobody has sole rights of possession up here. Least of all, a bunch of killers. And that's what Gabriel's death was all about.
Ocean Spray presents The Cranberry, an American song and legend. Hey, remember this? In the shade of the old cranberry tree. And how about the legend of Johnny Cranberry Seed, who went around planting cranberry trees all over America? Oh, and here's another oldie. A minute. You're mixing cranberries and apples. Sure we are. We're mixing two delicious fruit juices to make cran apple. <laughs> Funny name, cran apple, but it tells you what's in it. Sweet apple juice, cool and golden. Tangy cranberry juice, red and rousing, mixed up together to make cran apple. Ocean spray cran apple drink. Please try a bottle. And remember now, a cranberry a day keeps the doctor away. 974A, penal law. All right, good. You want to see me? Where's Ward? Still in the field, no news. Richie? He's down at the Youth A Division, making up a list from their records of school vandalism. Teacher wasn't killed by vandals. Maybe he surprised a couple of kids and they beat him up. You have a witness who saw two men leaving the school, one described as approximately 30 years of age. Maybe he was a user looking for something to hawk. They just got a call from the lab. They finally isolated one of the prints. They got a make on it. Here. Lewis Smith, alias Monroe Lewis. Three arrests, one conviction, a 794 penal call. It's gambling, policy. That's what I mean. Why would a schnook like that want to knock off a teacher? You have an address? Same one in Brooklyn for two years. I already notified the 97. Well, it's our first break. Still haven't heard from Ward, huh? No. Well, as soon as you do, let me know. Right. John, get your coat. We'll go look for him. I'm sorry. Oh, you're doing just great, baby. Just fine. Where are you going? I'm just sitting up, okay? No, but you'll do it anyway. Jeff, go away. Please, just get in the taxi and go. Yeah, back to where I came from, huh? Jeff. No, don't bleed for me, baby. No. You'll do that yourself, won't you? Not if I don't have to, I won't. Thanks for the first date. Huh? Maybe you'll get lucky and nobody will find out. Jeff! Move it! Well, you really are a cop, aren't you? Yes, I really am. So move! Don't look at me like that. Lila, I just want to go out now and take care of business. Right! Like asking questions until they kill well, they're you. They're your friends, not mine. No, that's wrong. They're not my friends. You've got to be pretty strange to protect your enemies. Well, I don't know. Maybe I am. The way it is now, everything is strange. Gabriel deserved much better than what he got. Now, that's so strange. You think I don't know that? Well, you don't act like it. Well, there are things I could tell you about Paul Gabriel. He knew more about what's going on here than anybody. Like what? Like who the enemy really is and how to fight him. Somehow, he always knew which kids at school were mixed up with the rackets. Like running numbers and all that. And he'd go to work on them. But not with the police. He couldn't. Not if he wanted anybody to listen to him anymore. He did it his own way. By telling them who they were. That's all. Just who they were and how strong and beautiful they really are. Nobody ever told them that before. I still say he deserves more than that. And I'd like to help him. And I want your help. Will you listen to me, Jeff? For the first time since I've been teaching. My kids are listening to me. I mean, really tuning in on me. I teach history, right? And I tell them that all the heroes aren't white. I tell them about Toussaint and Denmark Vesey and Nat Turner and Tubman and Douglas and all the others, and they're listening. They're listening to me! Do you have any idea what that means, Jeff? All of a sudden, there's a chance for them, for all of us. That much of a chance because of me, not you. Because of me and the truth, not you and a badge. And if you help me, you lose them. Yes! He's starting the whole thing over again. It's crazy. You know, sometimes I get the idea that we're so uptight, we don't even know who the man really is. I mean, they've got us spinning so much that we... When we get mad, oh, when we get mad, we show up. Man, do we show up. We smash out our own windows, we burn down our own buildings. That's how we show up. And when one of our best citizens get murdered, what do we do? Nothing, that's what we do. Because if we did something, we did something, we'd be afraid we'd have to talk to the cops. What time?
times we do live in. Stay here. Where are you going? Just stay here. And no more questions, please. Don't clock up. The lady's going home. Thank you. Are you sure this is it? I told you what I heard. You know as much as I do. Are you going to make it? Listen, I, uh... I... I don't know how to thank you. You bet you don't know how to thank me. How do you thank somebody for doing what I'm doing? If you have any sense at all, you won't try. And you won't come back. Okay. Hello, Carl. This is Jeff Ward. Is the lieutenant there? Looking for me, huh? Okay, call down and put out a message to them. Tell them I'm at the, uh, 164th Street side of the old Jamel Theater. Right. Okay. you ever learned? I'm slow. Tell me again. Open your coat. Come on, step on. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, you had to do it, didn't you? The Great Avenger. If you knew somebody was in here, why'd you wait outside for assistance? Lieutenant, I tried to... Yeah, I bet you did. I ought to have you brought up on charges for violating every procedure in the book. Now, look, you stick around. But... What's that? What a waste. Gabriel, that beautiful man, killed for what? For this. It's not for nothing, Jeff. I'm sorry. I just I just can't balance a man like Gabriel against a cheap policy operation. I just can't. It's an operation that opens up into much bigger things, Jeff. You know that. That's what Paul Gabriel was teaching his boys. You gotta believe that, Jeff. There's sure to be a couple of Jeff Wards growing up in this neighborhood right now. Who says men don't care about their hair? care about your hair, so don't smear grease on it. Spread Vitalis through it. Vitalis has no grease, and Vitalis spreads to keep your hair looking fresh and clean, not stiff or sticky. Vitalis has no grease. Hello, Hi. would you try new boat toothpaste? Sure. Three, two, one. <laughs> No better. I think it cleared up my sinuses. It's Boat, the new toothpaste with the icy taste explosion. Vote. It'll wake up the whiteness in your smile. Wow! Vote. Try it. My client is left with a broken arm. There's a young cop's career at stake here. Do you think the police have a right to make a spot evaluation, mistreat a person? This is Frank Converse. What would you do? If Jack Warden, Robert Hooks, and I will be back next week with another dramatic story about the New York police. You were a witness to your husband being struck, weren't you? Tune in to NYPD for 30 minutes of television excitement. But what are you guys doing about this? NYPD has been brought to you by. ABC. Well, I'll be seeing you and that girl. I'm Marlo Thomas, and I'd like to invite you to join me every Thursday night.